In this video, I'm gonna share with you four secrets that will help you become a remote developer in 2023. And these are not the obvious secrets, but the things that are common sense, but nobody really thinks about them. So I have realized, you know, that a lot of people focus so much on the code and because of that, they never really manage to break through. And the people, the developers that are making the most amount of money are very, 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 very far away from the code. So the more you think about coding and the more you tinker with your, you know, functions and variables and stuff like that, the more you'll, you know, get into debates of what's the best thing to learn, Next.js or Remix and all that stuff. The more you talk about those things, the likelihood of you getting hired will like go down really bad. And it's kind of counterintuitive because you as a developer, you are supposed to know about technology and stuff like that, right? But in fact, you as a developer need to be focused on the product, on the user that's gonna pay your company money. And this is something that most people don't really think about. You know, they get so much into the nitty gritty of like coding and becoming a better programmer, which is obviously important, right? Once you'll get hired, you'll understand that programming and coding, it's a very, very low level activity. The most important thing is thinking about the user and the product. So let's get into this. The first secret is to not be a coder, be an entrepreneur. What does that mean? Well, think about the product, be obsessed about the product, be obsessed about the user, the user experience. How is the user feeling when it's using your app? And you as a junior, when you are building your portfolio, which if you watched my videos, you know that you shouldn't be building a portfolio, you should be building an application. If you build that application, you should be thinking like, what is the user feeling right now when it's going through this app? Is the user wanting to like pay us money or pay you money, the guy who built this app? What would the user want to get more of or less of? Like, how can we make the user life easier? If you think about these things like that, you'll become a better developer because you are developing products. You are not a coder. If you are a coder, then you'll be a junior or you'll be like very, very low paid because coding is an activity that can be outsourced to someone else, but a developer, someone that thinks really deeply about a product can never be outsourced. So then you have to be obsessed with the products and how they work. The way you get good at understanding products is by using a bunch of products. So I have made a video like last week where I was talking about different products and their competitors. So I would highly encourage you to try out different products like team management software, uh, time management software, getting lead software, making money software, accounting software, like try to subscribe to all the, their free trials and see how these apps are actually working and then use them even though you might not have a business and whatnot, but try to see and understand how they work and try to see what people talk about those products. And in this way, you'll start to develop your mind and you'll start to become an entrepreneur rather than just a coder. And if you become that developer that understands a business, that understands like the requirements, that understands how to make more money for a business, then you'll become a developer that is in very high demand. Another secret that I wanna share with you is to reverse engineer and replicate those products that I was talking about. So it's one thing to like, use a product and then it's another thing to understand how that product works so you can take the features the ideas the the workflows of a certain product and put that stuff into your product into your application into your own portfolio to be honest it takes a bit of time right it takes a bit of time to like see okay if i press this button this thing opens up then i have to do this thing type in some number or some name or some location, then I choose some value from a dropdown, then I go to the next step, look at the workflows, look at what's happening, and then try to understand like, how would you do it? Even though you have like a very limited experience, just that exercise of understanding like how things work will make you a better developer. Because this is the type of work that you will be doing at work anyway. So they will give you like, hey, this is a design and we want this to happen whenever the user does this thing. So then you have to come up with the code, the workflow, the exceptions to the rule. What's happening if the user does this? What happens if the user does that, right? So you start to think about things in this way, in this certain way, and then you just become better. And then you'll see that coding, 
the code that you actually have to write is gonna become second nature and then you'll be able to like just create it in a matter of days, right? So right now, if I'll have to create a product from scratch, if someone will say, I want this and this and this, my brain is already like processing it and I already know what I have to do and how to do it and whatnot. I just have to actually write the code, which is the most annoying part of the whole thing because the problem has already been solved in my brain. But the problem has been solved in my brain because I have done this process over and over and over for like five years. But you just have to start once and try to understand like, hey, how does YouTube work? How does Notion work? How does Monday.com work? How does posting a photo on Instagram work? How does posting a tweet work? How does replying on a comment on a tweet work? How does a Twitter thread work? Like, what is the data structure? How would I do this? How would I do that? So you start to think about this stuff and that's how you get better. You reverse engineer everything and then you start replicating different things and then you start to see the patterns because programming is all about patterns. So you get better at identifying patterns, you get better at understanding your patterns and then you just have to put them into practice and then you'll get paid. And now the last secret is to be consistent, okay? That's the first thing, being consistent regardless of your emotions so it's very important to like keep going and never quit okay that's one thing and everyone agrees with that and the other thing is to do the right thing all the time so let's think about this for a second if you're consistent that's an amazing trait right but if you are consistently doing the wrong things you are going to end up a worse coder than when you started or if you are consistent but you're not doing enough work aka you are never really pushing yourself okay you're not gonna get really far imagine going to the gym and doing one bench press literally one rep and then going home and never adding more weight never adding more reps never adding more sets yeah you are doing work but you are not gonna get anywhere you won't make any progress so that's like a like a fallacy right and another type of person that could be consistent is the person that's looking for a new course, a new program, a new this, a new that all the time and never actually finishes anything. Yeah, they are still consistent. They are still consistently in the tutorial hell, but they don't have anything to show after being consistent for, you know, months or years. So I see this with a lot of bootcamp grads, for example, they finish a bootcamp, they have their to do app in their portfolio and then they are consistently doing nothing for the next one, two, three years. So that's why you need to do the right thing. Okay, but there is a catch to, the, to doing the right thing. Because if you do the right thing, but you're not doing it long enough, you're not gonna experience the benefits from it. So you can, you know, going back to the gym, you can have like one month, like I had, I had one month where I was like making like sick progress, but I wasn't consistent with it, so then, it didn't matter, right? So the secret here is to be consistent and doing the right thing over a long period of time. So if one of these things is missing, you won't get that far. It's like a chair with missing legs. You have to be consistent, like doing the work every day and then doing the right thing every day. This is super important. And this is one of the things that most people actually mess up. And that's why they take like years and years to actually make the, the most minimal amount of progress, right? So if you wanna do the right thing, if you are consistent already, and if you wanna do the right thing, you know that you know coding is the career that you wanna go for, becoming a remote developer is the career that you want to go for. If you like JavaScript, if you like HTML and CSS, if you wanna make six figures, if you wanna work from home, from you know the comfort of your home in your pajamas, then you can apply for a free consultation call with me where I'm going to show you exactly like how to actually do this thing right. And I think there are a few spaces right now for February. We have like two, three spots left. So you can apply for a free consultation call. You'll talk either with me or someone from my team and we'll show you exactly how this thing works. So you don't have to waste your time. You are doing the right thing every single day. You are being consistent and then you'll inevitably get to your goal. Anyway, that's the video for today. I hope you like it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.